Hello everybody, Max Wright here, host of BitShares TV, and I'm speaking today with Dan Larimar, uh, lead developer of BitShares. Dan, how are you? Doing great. Excellent. Dan, uh, why don't you walk through a, a, walk through a little bit for us um, the, the high performance capability of BitShares 2.0 and how you actually achieved it. Oh, and by the way, I usually ask you to dumb things down, make them suitable for laypersons like myself. I think this video is going to be that the tech people are going to be really interested in the details, so feel free to speak over my head. So with BitShares 2.0, uh, we've had a focus on performance. And per getting high performance on a blockchain is challenging because blockchains are inherently single-threaded. Every single transaction has the potential to invalidate the other transactions that come after it, uh, which means you can't do them at the same time. You can't scale up by throwing more CPUs or more computers at the problem because at the end of the day, particularly if you're doing order matching, Everything has to happen in order, and you have to validate one transaction before you can reliably validate the other transaction. With that in mind, uh, we took lessons from LMAX and got really optimized the single thread, the operations that have to occur in that thread, um, which is how we can get the performance we, we did. Uh, that means you have to eliminate the things that slow you down. You can't be going to the disk uh, or going to the network in the middle of your transaction processing. So everything stays in RAM. Uh, and paradoxically, we actually use less RAM today than we do in BitShares because the database caches and all the other stuff we were trying to do to cache disk access kept more things in memory and uh, the access pattern of blockchain data is somewhat random. So you're always having cache misses and you never have the data in memory that you need. The other thing we did is we minimized the amount of computations that we actually have to do to subtract an amount from one account and add it to another. Those uh, simple things mean that we can process 100,000 transactions per second conservatively. In our benchmarks, we've seen 180,000 on a two-year-old i5 CPU. Sure, there are other things we did to get performance, and so it might be a little bit surprising. The average size of a transfer operation on BitShares is now 100 bytes. This is compared to 250 bytes on other networks. This is because the BitShares protocol now reflects the object model. We reference accounts by IDs assigned by the blockchain instead of by hashes. Hashes are computationally um, expensive to manipulate and they take up a lot of space on the wire. We can get your account ID down to three bytes or four bytes depending on the number of users we have and we can um, so a transfer operation is much much smaller just from account to account and amount, plus the signature. All that fits in 100 bytes, uh, which ultimately leads to higher throughput, lower latency, because it's less data that has to go over the network. So the result of all these performance issues is that you're, you're, you can get uh, the, the business core logic up to 100,000 transactions per second, uh, block times of uh, one second, I believe, so one second reliable confirmations. What are the implications of this? What does this allow you know, people to do with what I think is now, I think you've, you've, BitShares has made the transition now, we're into smart chains as far as I can see. What is it that you can do on smart chains that uh, maybe you couldn't do previously on blockchains? With BitShares, it's capable of processing all the transaction volume of the NASDAQ at the speed of the NASDAQ. Uh, assuming you're on the other side of the world accessing it. So if you're in China and you're trying to trade on the NASDAQ, you've got about one second confirmation times just due to the speed of light. Uh, and the NASDAQ processes up to uh, 66,000 messages per second um, and is only designed uh, for 100,000 transactions per second. That means that BitShares can be a decentralized exchange that is just as functional, just as robust, uh, with similar performance, almost no trade-offs whatsoever with the centralized exchanges that exist out there. And that's game-changing because we don't have to compromise to have decentralization.